Hello everyone. I am Dr. Aditya. I am a consultant in arthroscopy, sports medicine and shoulder surgery at Dr. L.S. Hiranandani Hospital. So, I would like to discuss about uh, ACL injuries in the knee joint and how we treat them. So, if you look at normal knee joint, it has this bone above which is called the femur and this bone below which is called the tibia. This is your knee cap. So, in between the bones are these ligaments which you can see here. So, this is the anterior cruciate ligament and if you see at the back side, you have the posterior cruciate ligament. Function of these ligaments is to provide stability to the knee. Anterior cruciate ligament is typically injured when the tibia moves forward on the femur. So, you see the ACL prevents a forward movement like this of the tibia on the femur. So, typically in football injuries when the foot is planted, injury to the knee or the knee pivots, then typically the anterior cruciate ligament gets injured. There can also be associated injuries of the meniscus. The treatment of these injuries, we need to understand that there is an acute phase and then there is a chronic phase. So, acute phase when somebody is injured on the field will be characterized by swelling of the knee joint, pain and difficulty in walking. So, on field the primary management will be with icing, uh, not putting weight on the knee joint and taking some anti-inflammatory medicines. You need to visit a sports ortho to treat it further. So, generally an orthopedic surgeon will advise an MRI of your knee joint which will demonstrate the significance of the injury. The treatment options are twofold for the long run. One is a non-operative treatment and one is an operative treatment. A non-operative treatment is typically indicated in more elder individuals, say above the age of 50 years, who are not going to be part of any physical sport or who are not looking to take part in contact. So, in these individuals, uh, treatment consists of physiotherapy, improving the balance and proprioception in the knee joint and rehabilitation to get back to a decent level of activity that they are able to walk and you know do their daily activities. In more younger individuals, once the acute inflammation, the swelling and everything subsides, then generally a surgical procedure is advisable for them. Why surgery in younger individuals? Because generally in these younger individuals like to take part in various sports, are more active and if the ACL injury is not treated early in these individuals, it can lead to development of wear and tear of the cartilage or arthritis in the knee joint. So, in order to prevent that, a surgical reconstruction of an ACL injury is recommended. So, this is a keyhole surgery. That means there are not going to be any big cuts in the skin around your knee joint. These are done through very small cuts about the size of your fingernails. We insert the arthroscope inside the knee joint, we visualize the tear of the ACL and then we reconstruct the ACL. With regards to ACL reconstruction, generally there are uh, three options for uh, reconstructing the ligament. So one is using the hamstrings, the other one is uh, with using the bone patella tendon bone and the third one is with quadriceps tendon. Now with regards to all three grafts, all of them have shown good results. So, it's more of a surgeon preference. Generally, at our institute, we use hamstrings graft to reconstruct the ligament. The bone patella tendon bone graft, which is taken from the patella tendon here, or the quadriceps tendon graft, which is taken from here, generally we reserve that for revision scenarios. The hamstring graft is generally harvested from this area of the knee joint. So, there are uh, multiple hamstring muscles at the back of your knee joint. We just take one of those hamstring muscle to reconstruct the anterior cruciate ligament. Now the technique which we use here is called an all inside ACL reconstruction. The advantage of uh, using an all inside ACL reconstruction whereas over a conventional techniques are multiple. In a normal ACL reconstruction if you see your knee we put drills from here to here as well as drills from here to here to create so um, holes or sockets to accommodate the graft. Now inside of that is we are removing a significant amount of bone. Compared to that in all inside ACL reconstruction 
we drill from inside the knee joint to out and we don't do a complete drilling we just create a socket of about two and a half centimeters so as a result of that a lot of bone is preserved second the second advantage of the all inside acl reconstruction which we do here is that we use small buttons to achieve a fixation of the graft compared to screws now why we use buttons in comparison to screws? There are a few reasons for that. Sometimes screws can cause allergic reactions in individuals and it's a very bothersome finding that a young person having some uh, discharge from the knee joint post-surgery. So using a button totally circumvents any allergic reactions. Second thing is fixation when we use a screw that is a bioabsorbable screw entirely depends on the friction between the screw and the graft which is a soft tissue graft so it is not as sturdy as a fixation with a button which is a cortical fixation that means it rests on the hard bone here so that is not at all prone to slippage over a period of time the other reason for using an all inside technique is that the incisions for an all inside technique are smaller compared to that used for a conventional ACL reconstruction. So you can have a very cosmetic. ACL reconstruction is a surgery which has shown great results and probably it's one of the most common arthroscopic surgeries being done nowadays. So generally after an ACL reconstruction, the individual is able to put full weight on the knee joint the same day or the next day of the procedure and generally the next day of the procedure can be discharged. Initially, the person may need to use a brace to walk, but over a period of time, generally about two to three weeks, the, as the quadriceps strength and the knee strength improves, the brace is discontinued. Generally, a gym can be joined by around six weeks after the surgery. However, return to sports generally happens around six months. There is good amount of physiotherapy required after the surgery, but the advantage is the, that even younger individuals who are participating in various sports are able to get back to their level of sporting activity and even are able to play football. So if any queries are there, you can definitely message us and we'll be happy to get back to you.